newborn orogastric OG tube insertion. Learning objectives. By the end of this video, the participants will learn correct technique for insertion of orogastric tube through the mouth of a newborn for lavage and orogastric feeding. Removal of the orogastric tube. Indications Feeding for sick, preterm or low birth weight that is LBW babies who cannot suck. Gastric drainage in newborn babies with abdominal distension of any cause. Neonates with congenital or surgical conditions like duodenal atresia. Equipments Feeding tube size 8 French for babies weighing more than 1500 grams. 6 French for babies weighing less than 1500 grams. Sterile glove. Disposable syringe 5 ml 10 ml Kidney dish or tray Normal saline Pediatric stethoscope Adhesive tape Micropore Scissors Steps of insertion Wash hands thoroughly and put on sterile gloves. Measure the length of orogastric tube without removing the protective covering and note the point of the graduated marking. Measurement is done from the angle of the mouth to the tip of the earlobe to a point between the sternum and the umbilicus. Remember this length of the measurement by noting the graduated marking in centimeters shown on the tube. Position the baby in the supine position or on the right side with head elevated or the baby may also be held in an upright position in the mother's or nurse's arms. Moisten the tip of the tube with normal saline. Hold the tube 4 to 6 cm from the tip and insert into the oral cavity pointing towards the back of the throat. Use the natural bend of the tube to insert the tube. Check correct insertion of the tube by placing a pediatric stethoscope just below the xiphi sternum, slightly on the left side of the upper abdomen. Attach a syringe and push 2 to 3 cc of air to auscultate for the sound of gush of air. If no sound is heard, withdraw the tube immediately and try reinsertion or call the doctor. Keep a close watch on the newborn for breathing difficulty and color changes. Remove the syringe and close the orogastric tube hub with stopper if orogastric tube is for feeding purpose. If orogastric tube is for distension of the abdomen, leave the stopper open. Secure the tube by making a loop and gently stick it on the cheek. Record the point of insertion of tube in centimeters at the angle of the mouth before each feed. Removal of the tube. When to remove the tube? If the orogastric tube is blocked, orogastric tube is not required when there is improvement in the baby's condition. In case it is required to keep the tube for a longer period, replace with a new tube after three days. Steps for removal of tube. Gently remove 
the adhesive tape after wetting it so as to prevent skin injury. To prevent aspiration of contents into the trachea, pinch and gently pull the tube out. Dispose the tube after cutting in the red bin. Troubleshooting for orogastric tube insertion. If resistance is encountered during insertion of the tube, it should not be pushed further. Remove tube and retry or call for assistance. If the gush of air is not heard, it means that the tube is not properly positioned. Repeat the procedure. If on insertion of the tube, the baby becomes floppy or the color changes to blue or she vomits, it suggests that the tube is in the trachea. Remove the tube immediately and call the doctor. Reinsert the tube after the baby is stable. Feeding with orogastric tube. Wash hands properly. Take the required amount of feed in a clean bowl. Ensure orogastric tube is in the stomach by noting the point of insertion at the angle of the mouth and cross-check with that recorded in the chart. Use appropriate size of syringe for feeding, 10 ml or above. After opening the cap, attach the syringe barrel to the hub of the tube. Keep the syringe vertical and pour the required amount of milk into the syringe. Let the feed go down slowly under gravity and do not push with the plunger. Once the syringe is empty, pinch the tube to prevent entry of air, remove the syringe and close the hub of the tube. To assess tolerance of feeding, measure abdominal girth prior to each feed. This should be repeated before each feed and the reading should be recorded in the case file. Routine pre-feed aspirate should not be performed. Key points Use orogastric tube of correct size. Place baby in supine position with head elevated or on the right side for tube insertion. Insert gently following natural bend of the tube. Confirm the position of the tube with the syringe by auscultating stomach while pushing 2 to 3 cc of air into orogastric tube. Quantity and frequency of feeding will be decided by the treating doctor. Pinch the distal end of the tube and remove gently so as to prevent aspiration of gastric contents. It is now recommended that insertion of orogastric tube should be preferred over the nasogastric tube in newborn babies. However, some HCPs still use the nasogastric tube. Steps of insertion of the nasogastric tube Wash hands thoroughly and put on sterile gloves. Measure the length of the nasogastric tube without removing the protective covering and note the point of the graduated marking. Measurement is done from the tip of the nose to the tip of the earlobe down to the tip of the siphoid process. Remember this length of the measurement by noting the graduated marking in centimeters shown on the tube. Position the baby on the right side or in the supine position with head elevated or the baby may also be held in the seated position in the mother's or nurse's arms for feeding. Moisten the tip of the tube 
with normal saline. Hold the tube 4 to 6 cm from the tip and insert into a nostril pointing towards the same side yellow. Use the natural bend of the tube to insert the tube into the back of the throat until the marked point is reached on the tube at the tip of the nose. Check correct insertion of the tube by placing a pediatric stethoscope just below the xiphi sternum, slightly on the left side of the upper abdomen. Attach a syringe and push 2 to 3 cc of air to auscultate for the sound of gush of air. If no sound is heard, withdraw the tube immediately and try reinsertion or call the doctor. Removal of the tube. When to remove the tube? If the nasogastric tube is blocked, Replace the tube with another clean tube after three days in case the tube has to be kept for a longer period. With improvement in the baby's condition, the nasogastric tube is not required. Steps for removal of tube. Gently remove the adhesive tape after wetting it so as to prevent skin injury. To prevent aspiration of the content into the trachea, pinch and gently pull the tube out of the nostril. Dispose of the tube in the red bin.